Y'all know I cook, but I've been working on something else that I'm getting pretty good at too. And you know what that is? I am a magician. I have practiced magic tricks for a long, long time. I am gonna take this Big Mac right here and I'm gonna turn it into a Big Mac casserole. We're finna make us some magic happen. Let me get my magic rag up here, lift it up just a little higher, abracadabra, zuma kaluma. What are we talking about, Dutch oven? And whoop, there we go. Look here, folks, what we have created from the Big Mac, the Big Mac casserole. Hey, thank y'all for stopping by camp. And what are we talking about today? the Big Mac casserole. Now y'all remember when I made the Big Mac video? We're gonna do that. Now, this is a little thing that we may have to change. <laughs> this is called a patty of meat. <laughs> that spatula, we ain't mashing. I just want you to push. And you can see just a little of that clear liquid come back to the top. Can y'all see the difference here? I mean, even if, you, if you're standing a way away from the camera, can you see the difference here? Let me, let me get down here. This is a Big Mac, McDonald's style. This is a Big Mac, cowboy style. You even gotta have a muscle to hold this one up. But folks, I am making it easier than ever now, and whew, it is gonna be oh so good. Everybody knows when you get a Big Mac, what is there? Not just the meat, the special sauce that goes on there with it, and everybody sings that song. I don't remember the words, two all beef patties, special sauce, something, something, something on a sesame seed bun. Two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, and a sesame seed bun. Lettuce, che cheese, pickles, onions, lettuce, uh, cheese, pickles, oh, what am I saying? Y'all know I am a Duke's mayonnaise fan. Uh-huh. Now, I've had a lot of people say, Kent, you need to try blue plate, blue plate I, mayonnaise. I want you to taste it, like just right out of the jar. Right out of the jar, what? And give us an honest opinion. To me, it tastes a little bit sweeter oh. than Duke's, but they're very sil similar in a way, but if this didn't have a label on it, I might call it Hellman's. Oh. I don't know. So we're gonna start, and folks, I'm gonna measure this out today, cause it. Really, it's really gonna help. No, we're not gonna measure it out. We're gonna use a cup full of mayonnaise. To that, we're gonna add some ketchup. There is relish in there. Now, we're gonna use about- Wheat or dill? Dill is today, uh-huh. We're gonna use about three and a half to four of them. We're gonna call it about right there. I'm gonna cowboy it up. We're gonna go with the sweet and spicy green chili mustard, and it makes really good Big Mac sauce. So we're gonna go about Oh, that much right there. But folks, we need to add some garlic powder. So get you some down in there. See which way the wind's blowing. It is blowing that direction today. So we're gonna put about that much in there. Smoked paprika, gotta have it. We need that color. Anybody in the crowd know what it's missing right now before we go any further? Somebody raise your paw up. Anybody, anybody got a paw up and know? Cletus, hey, do you know what we're missing? Mage? So Y'all come on up here and give me some help. Come on, come on. And I think this would be a good time, Cletus. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Big says I don't share Big Macs. <laughs> this would be a good time, Cletus, yeah, for you to introduce us to whoever you brought up here with you that we call Chloe. We don't know her real name, don't know where she belongs, but she has found out that this is bread and breakfast too. Folks, the so thing- So how many you got now? How many One, are two, three, four, five, six. Six helpers in camp here today. That is a culinary crew, it is. I'll tell you what it's missing, onion. You got to have that onion. Now, I prefer to use what? A white onion in this. Just slice the top end off of it. Do not disturb the root end. We're gonna need that on there. We gotta get it peeled. I like to leave it pretty finely diced because I love that crunch. It's finely chopped finely chopped. Me and Shan have had this discussion many times, folks, about minced, chopped, and diced. Now, Cletus, I'm gonna put these right in here if you don't mind, okay? Thank you. So, when you get to this point, take your knife, go right down the outside edge, go to the root end, okay? Not all the way through, because this is how we're gonna get us some minced, diced, finely chopped, whatever you want to call them, onion. We're going to come back from the other direction. Slice on down through here. It's a slapper, dicer, chopper, cutter, all in one. Just don't cut your finger. 
Well, onions is diced up it is. We need to get them in this here mixture. We're gonna add a little black pepper to it. Do not refrigerate it. You can just cover it, set it aside. We need to get to browning us up some meat. Now I'm starting with three pounds of 80-20 ground chuck. Got my stargazer skillet over here. and We're gonna do this in two batches. Put it in there, make sure you season it well with that original season. We're gonna brown it up. And be sure when it's done, now that if, you're, if your meat looks a little greasy, drain that meat, go ahead and place it over in that Dutch oven because this is a layered dish, so we're gonna put the meat down first. And what comes next, you gotta have it on the Big Mac, that special sauce that we created. We're gonna take half of that special sauce, spread it on that meat pretty evenly, and here comes the cheese. You know we gotta have it on there mozzarella and cheddar, about a cup to a cup and a half of each. Get it all layered on there really good. After you get that cheese on there, remember this is layered, so let's just layer the rest of that meat, that special sauce, and more cheese on top. But let's move right on over to this Dutch oven and finish this off this top. And this is what gives you the awe factor when you take the lid off this. This is what's happening, a canned biscuit, yeah. So when you get them biscuits, and don't buy the cheap ones, buy them grand biscuits. You need to flatten them out just a little, place them on there. Another option would be crescent rolls. But them biscuits, when you get this done, it looks like a Big Mac. They look like a hamburger bun sitting on there. So. I prefer that you use them. Now, after these have cooked and are done and we take them out, what are we gonna do? Brush the top of them biscuits with some melted butter and we're gonna sprinkle them sesame seeds on there cause that's what's gonna give it that final look of the Big Mac sandwich. Now, if you're cooking this in the house, you can do it preheated in the oven at 350 degrees, but you know me, ha, huh? we're going to cowboy it up. We're going to cook it in a Dutch oven. And let me tell you, if you're just beginning to cook something in a Dutch oven, this would be a great place to start because this casserole is so easy because remember, the meat is on the bottom. It is done cooked through. So really all we're doing is just giving all them flavors to warm up and browning them biscuits on top. For cold placement, if you're cooking this in a Dutch oven, Go ahead and just sprinkle you a layer of coals around the outside edge of that trivet, which is the outside edge of that Dutch oven, and you can load the top up pretty heavy. Remember, you may have to rotate that lid one direction, the bottom the other, if the wind is blowing. We just wanna see this casserole as it begins to bubble and that cheese melts and gets all just simmering up through there. And you can see them biscuits browning on top. We just want a good golden brown color. And if you need to, reach down there with your thumb, pull one of them biscuits up just a little to make sure that that bottom is cooked through just a little too, cause you don't want it all doughy. And remember, don't forget the butter and the sesame seeds. As we were cooking, I checked on the top of that, and guess what? Them biscuits were a little browner on one side than they were the other, so I take my lid lifter, push those hottest coals over there to the side that's not as brown, because you can target heat in a Dutch oven, top or bottom, by just moving the coal placement around. Speaking of lid lifters, we have teamed up with the folks up there at Hasty Bake again, and what manufactured the best lid lifter ever, folks. I always say when you get a lid lifter, you need to look, is there very much play in the bottom of this? These are stainless steel, they're not gonna rust, got our logo on them. When you grab a hold of a lid, you will not drop it with this. These are the best lid lifters I've ever seen. Be sure and check out the website because they will be there. So I got a little tip for you. Me and the mage is going to McDonald's, not just to get him some nuggets, but I heard from an employee that if you order a Big Mac, you know, they, are, they just get warmed up. But if you order a quarter pounder with cheese, you can get the Big Mac sauce and put on it and it's a fresher patty. So we're gonna see if that works today because hey, I'm all for freshness and goodness and Meiji is too. Mage, here it is, your favorite spot. He says, yeah, I'll wake up for a McDonald's anytime. Get some chicken nuggets. Yep. 
Sometimes he gets a Happy Meal, but today he's in the mood for nuggets. Yes, ma'am, I need the number one Big Mac meal. I need a number two C. Medium or large? Uh, large, and could I get the quarter pounder, I mean the Big Mac sauce on that, ma'am? See it right there, add the Mac sauce. It is on there, yep. So we done it, Mage. Well, Mage, we got it. The quarter pounder with the added Big Mac sauce. So let's see, can we get it out of there, Mage, and see what happens. I mean, you can see that extra sauce. See that Big Mac sauce in there? Mm. So we're going to see. Mm. Now that, to me, is better than a Big Mac. Really? Uh-huh. So I'm going to go ahead and order this from now on like this way. So, hey, y'all try this tip. It works. Mm. Good eating. Folks, I'm gonna let that thing cool a little while. You can see that cheese that sticks to the roof of your mouth better than polygrip wielded dentures, but I need to feed my help. They have been out here in the elements all day. Everybody gather around. Hey, hey, it is time to partake in a little snack. We have a Meiji bite, a Duker bite, Big, Cletus, Sadie, Chloe, hey, hey. You're new to this. Hey, hey, it's not delivery. Come here. Hey, mate says I'll get it. <laughs> Look at this here. I mean, and if you want to. looks like a Big Mac. If you wanted to take this deal and completely turn it over, have you a sandwich, you could. But I'm just going to take this right here, get this bite of bread with that good melted cheese. See how that, ooh, ooh, mmm. Mm -hmm. McDonald's, we got you beat again, we do. Look in there, the flavor that that special sauce gets through there, it is out of this world. That might be the best casserole I've ever eaten in my life, Shan. Now remember, everything that we use today will be listed down there right below the video in the description, but you can also just go to our website and find these recipes. But hey, keep an eye out on that events page because we do have some things coming up this spring. But as was always, with pride, great honor, and privilege that I tip my hat to all our servicemen and women and all the veterans who have kept that old flag a flying. We commend you, every one. We do. Rest of you, come on in here close. Come on now, because we, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lift this one up. Come on in here close. I'm gonna give you a one-armed hug and I'm gonna eat the rest of this by myself. God bless you each and every one and I'll see you down the Big Mac trail. You know, everybody is present on set. We had to renew contracts, but we have the full cast members starting with Duke here. And then there's the big Sadie, Chloe and Cletus and Mage is here somewhere. We just don't know where. Mage, Mage, there he is. He's the one that's really in charge, him and the bee, but we have a lot of help today. Pups aren't gonna be able to eat the finished product, so we're gonna make six little Big Macs here without all the topping for my, all the help that we've had today. That way everybody won't boycott, wanna work for somebody else. Ooh, this is what you woke up for, isn't it? Nuggets for the Major. Now, we're gonna save some of these for the Duke, Big, Sadie, Chloe, and Cletus, okay? Are y'all ready for this? I am. I have done this magic trick so many times for the pups I have. Let me get my magical rag up here. Abracadabra Zuma Kaluma Dutch oven is the best. What a biggest magic act you've ever seen in your life. Houdini could do no better and the wind is, can't even get the rag out. We're gonna start over. <laughs> 